So, this is gonna be part one of the video of the new clutch and saw because I only could do about 10 minutes, 15 minutes per video, not 20. So I can't do long videos no more because I don't know, my video editing software is messing up. So today we're gonna be installing a clutch on this one on my 2014 370Z. Uh, this clutch has about 94,000 miles on it. And so far, uh, it's been good until I hit 90K. Cause when I was trying to race my buddy with a 5.0, I was slipping like third gear, third and fourth gear pretty bad. Uh, then after that, my clutch got really hot. First, second, third, all of it just started slipping. It just went booty when that shit went got hot. So uh, my clutch didn't come in yet. So I have, the clutch comes in tomorrow basically. I got a stage one. Uh, by import racing and also got a midway flywheel by Z1 Motorsports. Sorry about the wind. It's kind of, I don't know if it's carrying the mic or not. But yeah, that's what we're going to be installing the clutch and also, I guess, a clutch, flywheel, uh, new save cylinder. Also got the rear main seal. And I'm going to do a transmission fluid change also for it. So the jack stands I got really small. The only I don't know, less than a foot, so probably like 10 inches. So I just want to go to O'Reilly's, pick up some AC Delcos. Got the four ton, uh, they go up to 21 inches. I think we should be high enough. If not, I could just use the jack stand to pull out the transmission. So it's no busy. Shout out to Pedro for the this big ass discount on this, bro. This shit was like what? 62 for one box. Now it's like 130 bucks total and he got it down to 109. Get some friends at O'Reilly's bro. They will help you a lot. So, oh, gotta cut the sides too. Anyways, I'm gonna get this thing up in the air. Then after that, uh, we'll get started underneath. See what we gotta do first. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, that's 14 degrees. But since, uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also going to upload the new video. Then the next video should be uploaded in about two or three days. Uh, about the clutch. And yeah. New videos uploading. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. On my way to get the 100 subs. I just need 100 boys. Help me out. Everyone's just trying to make it. Uh, don't worry about my PS4 is on. I'm not going to play no games. <laughs> I just need some background noise while I'm doing some work to it. All right, now I'm about to put the. Ooh, that Anyways, I'm about to put that on that thingy with that thingy. Yeah, look at the size comparison. <laughs> All right, finally the video's been uploaded. That took forever, but no, this was worse. This shit took me like 20 fucking minutes. No hard, uh, cause okay, no lie, I am kind of scared cause how high it is. But damn, that shit looks sexy. But anyways. Yeah, how high it is, and like, fuck, just trying to, it's fucking scary, dude. I never had it this high in forever, and like, honestly, how like high the room is, I think we definitely get the transmission out. I think I got one of the right choice instead of going with the 8 ton. That was a little bit higher, but this is perfect. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna go chill out for like 10 minutes or so, then I'm gonna continue to work from here. Yeah, Buddy just John see. just came through. He's two little bolts here. Recording me getting a nice little shot. Yeah, sure. Buddy pulled up to help me. Too bad he works tomorrow, so I'm on my own tomorrow for a little <laughs> bit. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna look under here then. We'll get started. I work at a donut shop, by the way. So, so far, we got my exhaust out. These for sale. Anybody wants them? Try my go to the single life. I don't know yet. But now, you got a fucking donut. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so full exhaust off. Uh, you could just leave the cats on, and uh, we, we just drained it out about three quarts. And now we're getting down to the drive shaft. Yes. Yes. Four bolts here in the back. Uh, you're gonna have to hop in and let down the handbrake 
and uh, make sure it's in neutral so you can rotate it around and once you get to like a place that you can get to like most of the bolts uh, pull the handbrake up put it in gear knock the bolts loose then handbrake down again back in neutral rotate it to get to the last bolt i mean we're in the air we don't have to leave the e-brake up anymore mm -hmm. but yeah no it's not going to do you any any uh, good it's just you're going to have to have the handbrake up to hold it in place because otherwise you're going to go to loosen spin. it and it's just going to spin yeah we're going to try to take it off without removing any of this we don't have to remove this part to. from what i, I think, seen i think it'll come down enough and we'll be able to slide it out yeah that's how it's going to be and after that this is for last whatever wire harness etc yeah yep. all right be back all right so i got up i listened to e-brake and yep. Oh shit, wait, hold up. I think your e brake's shitty. I didn't pull it that tight. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why you want to pop it in gear as well. Yeah, I didn't pop it in gear. <laughs> Did you know the drive shaft is also carbon fiber? Ooh. I think it's like carbon fiber composite, but I mean, if, I you, want, mean. if you want to flex on people. I don't even fucking know what it was. John's the one who told me. <laughs> that's what I heard. That's, that's what the internet says. Oh shit. Oh, I heard this don't smack me in the face. Oh, we're gonna need to bend this a bit, probably, so. Fuck you. That's a little bit of them. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lift it up real quick. Plug. My hand. Oh, you got it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We can bend it back, guys. We just push it and that's it. Yeah, I gotta go. Alright, so next up your step. Uh, oh, whatever. Uh, fuck, wire harness. You got disconnected. How many, how many was there, John? It goes, it goes over. I'm pop it just back in place. It goes over here. There's a little bracket with three bolts. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can see it. There is. Okay, so it's. It was like the one go. on the inside. <laughs> well, the one yeah. on the inside was the most pain. Yeah. There's two on the outside. Yeah. And then there's one inside yeah. right there. That one is a pain, and we used, I don't know where it's at, but the, the mini hands to scratch it. To yeah. use this one because it was the only thing that had the right height or and size and stuff to get in there and get that knocked loose. Yeah. So. But, uh, we're going to put two of them back in, but I mean, after we reinstall after the clutch, we're only going to install two of them and leave one of them out because that one's just a pain. Yeah. So, so whenever you're doing your all that. clutch again. So, um, I'll put this bracket. There's two connectors. Then snakes around to the other side where there is two more connectors right there and then that's pretty much it it's just all held in by uh, other than these these are all 12s everything else is held in by 10 mils mm. and you'll be able to just get that out of the way uh, over here this goes kind of like that yeah and this is for your o2 i believe that's a 12 or a 14 and then there's these other two up here as well. There's one last connector up in this corner. That is actually one of the bolts to hold it in place is the starter bolt. Uh, so that's a bolt that's going to be hard to get to. Yeah. We started get, taking them out and labeling them as well. But, yeah. Yeah. Two, three connectors over here. And then there's two more up here with this other little plate thing. Um, and after all that's disconnected, that's all you move it kind of out of the way as much as you can yeah. uh, then up at the top of the transmission there is a breather hose on you can get to it on this side right here it's, it's just all the way tube. up near the top and yeah. you just be able to just pop oh. that right off yeah there's no uh there's no clamps on it or anything yeah and after that you that's pretty much it then after that you could just when you get to the bottom transmission bolts and stuff you have to remove yeah. that pan you gotta remove this little piece right here yeah. because the actual heads of the bolt are on the inside yeah and i don't know why they couldn't just put it on the outside here but it's nissan so <laughs> yeah yep. uh we'll get that off and we'll get back while well, john's working on that i disconnected the shifter the boot and all that shit you wanna okay we got all the bell housing bolts out yeah what's up you wanna add real quick what's that up? You technically don't have to take the whole shifter out, but it does make it easier to drop the transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to pop your hood real quick and just take the cap off your uh, master for the clutch? Yeah. The cap? Yep. Yeah. Also, uh, you don't have to take out your cam uh, camshaft position center. Yeah, whatever it's in Camshaft position center. Yeah. Dude, I still can't say this is the last video. Wait, you said camshaft? Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, it's crankshaft? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I swear to God in the video said cam. 
No, that's crank. Oh well. It's your crank sensor. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. Well, you don't have to take that shit off because that shit's impossible. The guy didn't do it, so I didn't do it either. And it's open. Uh, usually on the bell housing, but I guess they, they realize it's probably going to be uh, changing It's open, sir. An engine, so. And we'll show you when we drop the oh, training out. It's on there. Good. And I thought it was on you the whole well, time. the clutch is fucked anyway, so. Yeah. It's about to happen, boys. My child's about to come out. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, this is the first time I'm using this strap because it's so shitty. Oh, really? But this is a heavy, heavier transmission than mine, so I don't want to fucking risk it. Because <laughs> uh, if this thing's dropping, I for sure ain't catching. That's up to you, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me for? I'm not that, I'm not that strong. Okay, then, then it's going. <laughs> then it's getting slammed on the floor. Fuck it, TJZ swap. Oh. <laughs> I need a new clo I need a new transmission anyway. Yeah, I need a new trans anyways. Shit, you probably use one of these if you want to, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, no, three seventy. So you're fucked yeah. anyways. <laughs> I know the three seventy and three fifty is like the best conversions for the TJ swap. Oh. Is it really? Mm -hmm. You oh. just know so much. Yeah, because I was I've been talking about TJ and RB so much and I the guy he told me he did a he did a TJ swap and the 370 was like before they had the 370 that came out, the two uh, I mean three fifty was the perfect match. But they just had to do like a little conversion thing from oh. the front thing. Then also, uh, the 370 was just actually a perfect match. Oh. Yeah. Then I also read that the automatic transmissions can only handle up to like 400 horsepower. On the Z's? Yeah, on the on Z's. Really? But the manuals can hold up to a thousand. Uh, OEM? Yeah, OEM. Which is pretty weird. Pretty cool, but pretty weird. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to try it if I can snap it, but. Yeah. I mean, your clutch is already slipping, so. Yeah. Ooh. This nigga wants to die, Rip, doesn't Yeah, it? I know. Rip. That just my Put clutch. your money where your mouth is. I race for pink slips. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but then again, the person who had the car before me already drove like a dumbass. Because there's like some stuff broken and all that. Uh, yeah. Subframe, shocks. There was, a bit okay. of, there was a there was a bit of grass yeah. uh, right there on that little hoop thing. I think that's, thing. I think yeah, that's that, legit. And there's a plate that covers that. That's how you can see how much of a retard the hang. previous guy was. For real. All right. Thanks is it. What size are these things? I'm gonna drop them out. Are these look like what? 14s? 14. 14 or 16? Yep. Coming down. Okay, you ready? Yep. Ah, yep. oh, boy. What is this? Oh, now comes the fun part. Yeah, I'm gonna try to help you. Just oh, yeah. splitting it from the casing. Oh, thank you for it. No. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> <laughs> it be like, what that's, the just a, that's just how much work I'm putting in. No, that was, that was in my mouth. Uh huh. You know what? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I did it for it, sure. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna do that, but I don't wanna. I mean, I see a gap already. So yeah, there's already a gap at the bottom over here. Gap will be? Does this thing twist? Nope. Just keep jiggling, I guess. We did get all the bolts, right? Yeah. <laughs> you got two on top and should be uh, three on top. I don't know. I feel like we're going to catch it. I feel like, I feel like we just need to keep going yeah, at Yeah, just keep. Yeah, Actually, I think. Probably should put my hand in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on to that and I'll push this. Okay. Let me... Bring it back up some. Yeah, I don't want it to just... Oh, 
fucking like sit under here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, fuck, never mind. Uh. I was like, poke my ass. Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice jack stands you got. It's almost two feet, bro. I'm not gonna stand directly behind me. I just stopped the thing. If that thing finally goes and we're both pushing this way, I was yeah, gonna, gonna smack gonna... right in my yeah. forehead. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> okay. Okay. You got it. Yep. Right it. after I fucking leave to go get a fucking <laughs> screwdriver, that shit fucking comes <laughs> off. This car's full of surprises. So I was like, oh, surprise you, babe. Oh Ooh. shit! Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So uh, can you? Yeah. Pardon, no. Uh, can you? Is that an okay angle? Yeah, decently. Okay. It's coming down, boys. It's my fat ass head in the way. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It says AWD all wheel drive. Oh, <laughs> told you that's trap, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Ooh, okay. Now, we're probably going to need to get it off the jack to actually pull it out from under the car. Yeah. By the looks of it. Anyway. So, go ahead and unhook the strap. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, wait, what? Uh, we'll it's try. It's kind of rolling around everywhere. Ah, uh, so you think you can you can kind of keep it there? Yeah, I can okay. try. I'm, uh, okay, okay. And here we go with the strap again. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I'll hold it. Fucking damn. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, fucking. Okay, can you can you pull somebody? No, can you pull that strap? There we okay. go. There we go. Okay. Now comes the other fun part. You, you still want to record this? It's still recording. Still recording? Okay. So now, let's uh, get it Oof. down slowly. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Now, slowly pull Yeah, slowly pull it forward, baby. Hold on. Let me try to pull this shit up. Yeah. Try to pull it up. Oh, I'll pull oh, it up. Trying, I'm trying to hold it a little bit. I'll hold so. it up. Don't worry. So just just like go. slowly. Okay, pull, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Okay, can, can you bring it down? Yeah. Arnie's strong to hold in that. Oh. All right. There we go. Hell yeah, just enough room, guys. Wow. How does it feel? Holy shit, my clutch looks burned. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what you. the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, like just, I, I really like hope it. that's still recording. It is. And it gets your reaction. You better leave that in the fucking yeah, video. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, that's not me driving like a I car. I stopped dusting your chin. I was like, like dude, dude, I knew, I knew that shit was burned, bro. I was like, I had a feeling, like that shit's gonna be burned. Ooh. Get her. Help. Ah. Okay. We can, we can figure that everything else out after that. Okay. What's this thing? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna worry about it. I don't know what it is. Something we probably should have taken off. Uh, anyway, still recording? Yep. Okay. Hold on, let me turn my flashlight. I was yeah. Here. God damn! Bring, bring that flashlight over here, boy. <laughs> oh shit, hitting the fucking everything. It's a little dusty. I mean, it'll look awful. We're gonna okay, take care of it. I was tripping because looking from this angle, you see it on a little bit white, like you know how like the white residue of like burned oh, wood. That's yeah. what I saw from a distance. Like, holy shit, that's Woo! burned. Crap, let me sit up a little bit. I just, I'm cute. I want to see the disc though. Yeah, we'll get the whole thing off here now. Shit, don't breathe it in. That might have a, asbestos. Yes, <laughs> nigga, I'm on cancer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. God damn. Toasty, yeah. Yeah. Hey, at least I'm not missing no teeth on the thing. You think? Oh, I'm in the on the flywheel? Okay. Flywheel, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were talking about these. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no your flywheel's still good. And these still look good. That, that's no. a little rusty. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice and rusty crusty. I mean shit, it's a 95k fucking clutch. Mm. Apparently Nissan wanted to like change it like 25k. I don't know, they change the average 25k from what I heard. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what they that's what Hilmer told me. <laughs> Money hungry people. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean Nissan is in depth, so I mean You're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nissan is like, alright, this guy's not getting no sponsorship now. Yeah. Uh, camera battery about to die. Let me handle that. Alright, we'll be back. Recording. New battery. You got it out without telling me. <laughs> Let's see that disc, boy. Is it down to his grooves? No, I mean, there's still a little bit of life left. It's what just, the fuck? It's just a material. Mm -hmm. It probably overheats and starts to slip. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a, kind of like how a brake pad fades. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, shit. I know you're into that. You could also you could resell this as a used clutch. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some nice heat marks though on this. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can see all the little Damn, spots. Damn, still... The, the heat marks right there. Hmm. Yeah. See all the little heat spots and all that. And there's some up here on the clutch too. Here. Oh boy. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, right right there. Like Hold that? up. I gotta make sure I focus this thing. That's a lot of little life, isn't it? Huh? That's a lot of life, isn't it? Uh, Not this side, but. I'm trying to. Hold up. Yeah, there's a nice little spot right there at the top. So oh the, yeah. Uh, is it cut? Cut? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where the thing did. Red button. Yeah. All right, there's a down. You know what? Here, have it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I think it's still running. Water away. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, G35. No handles in here. This is the wing motion handle I got. <laughs> and it's tied to my sun visor too. Yep. Yeah. Alright guys, that'll be it for part one. We got the clutch out, the flywheel. Cause we have to go rise and buy a T55, get that out and we're done. Clutch comes in tomorrow. If they're not that out, I'll make it a part two for it. See y'all then. Bye! <laughs>